up everybody it's your girl Panina Monet and I am here with another video today's video is going to be on a couple products that I just recently purchased um, I have tried every last one of these products out already and when I tell you they are the bomb.com they are the boom 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 but anyway let me go ahead and jump right into this video so it won't be so long the first thing that I got are a set of brushes they are dirty because I've used them a few times these really aren't that new. <laughs> I got these like last month and I've used them like maybe five times. Um, this, actually all these aren't the same. Let me just take out a few of them. This is the Sonia Kashik brush collection. So it looks like this. Oh, not that one. They look like this. And there were a total of, oh, I don't even know. How many brushes are in this kit? Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so there are a total of 12 brushes in this kit. And like I said, these are what they look like. They have this really cute tribal print. This little wood. Let's see. It's full. I don't think this is real wood. I don't know. But anyway, these are super, super cute. And I got these at Target. And I got these bad boys on sale. This, this is the box that it came in. And I got these on sale for $19.98. They were originally $40, I believe. $39.99. And you already know if you don't if you don't shop at Target, go to Target. If you see something you like, don't buy it right away because I guarantee it's going to be on sale. And if it's one of those situations where it's not that many in stock, just go ahead and get it. This right here, it was like three in stock, the same Target I kept going to. And when I came back, um, probably like a month later, it was discounted and it was only two left. So that means they really didn't sell that well. Or at least they didn't sell that well at that one location. But this is the box. And let's see. They're called the Exotic Artisan 12 Brush Set. And this is what the back looks like. Let's see if that's in focus. So it's a rundown of the brushes that come in the kit. There is... One dense powder brush, one tapered powder brush, one small powder brush, one synthetic pointed foundation brush, one flat top contour brush, one large eye brush, one shader brush, one blending brush, one dome eye brush, one precision pencil brush, one synthetic angle eyeliner brush, and one brow comb. So I showed most of the big brushes and these, let's see, are the smaller brushes that come in the kit. I swear it didn't seem like it was that many, but it's a lot of these little bad boys. Okay, so these are the other ones. And yeah, so this is the rest of the 12. I think I showed four at first. This is the rest of the 12. And they're pretty soft. The one thing I can say about this is that it's not synthetic hair. This is real hair, and it is a little itchy. So if you have sensitive skin, use these brushes with a light hand because like I said they are a little itchy all right so next I picked up some Anastasia Beverly Hills products the first one is the foundation stick now this I this makeup look right now that I have on I recorded and I'm using this foundation this is in the shade amber now I've used this foundation twice already this is the color and it actually matches pretty well pretty well to my skin um, but yeah, so I picked that up, and so far I'm kind of iffy about this foundation. Not really, um, not really sure if I like it that much, as much as it was raved about. But today I use a different primer, so we're gonna see how it works. And then the second thing that I purchased from Anastasia is the Master Palette by Mario, and this palette has been going around YouTube quite a bit, and I must say it is worth all the hype. It is the bomb, and I also use it on my eyes sweat as well. So these are the shades and they are really pretty so if you are a neutral girl you will love absolutely love this palette and I got this palette from Sephora and I got the foundation from no no, no. I got this, the palette from Ulta and I got the foundation from Sephora along, the next um, palette that I picked up this one isn't new but I didn't get it and this is actually my first Tarte palette but um, I think hope was that I think I saw Jackie Ina using this palette and I was like oh my gosh that palette is freaking gorgeous it looks like I would wear every single shade in that freaking palette so I went up to Sephora and picked this out and when I tell you that this palette is freaking gorgeous it is the bomb oh my gosh like and it feels like 
it feels like it should have been like 80 bucks but it was really like i think like 40 or something maybe 50 something i'll put the prices and all that stuff and where i got it to linked down below in the description but yeah this right here oh my god and this swatch is so beautiful so i'm just gonna swatch a couple and i didn't do this with the um the mario palette maybe i should eh, yeah i will okay i'll just swatch a few so let me swatch let me move the brush i'm gonna use muse this color right here that's what that looks like if you can see it i know this isn't like the best lighting but anyway that's muse and it is so stinking gorgeous oh my gosh it is so gorgeous and then let me swatch one more color i am going with the color fifth ad that's the goldish color that was directly underneath muse let me pop that bad boy right there you see that Ooh. see that I know my life's bright, but yeah, that's that. Okay, so let me swatch. This is called Firecracker. Is this shade right here? Is this shade right here? And I'm going to swatch that right there. And I'm only picking up a little bit because I do not want to run through these uh these eyeshadows that quick but anyway so that's that color right there and they're really pigmented and like I said they might not be showing the real payoff um on camera because my lighting is kind of bright but when I tell you that this stuff is the bomb oh my gosh I freaking absolutely adore it and I should have got me a napkin to wipe this stuff off but it's all good it's all good okay, okay. so the next couple of I um the next couple of eye products that I got are from ColourPop so I got the first this right here is I believe this is the um dang what is this brain fart this is their gel their pomade gel or cream gel color and this color is in get paid so it's this pretty rose gold color let me swatch that too that's right there it is so freaking gorgeous oh my gosh look at that it is the bomb and I'm gonna have to swatch on my other hand because I'm running out of space. Okay, so the next color I picked up is Telepathy. And this is from the Kathleen Lights collection. And let me go ahead and swatch that bad boy. And I love these pigments because they are like super, super, they're like pouncy almost. Almost like a, um, it's, it almost feels like a wet sponge. But anyway, so this right here is Telepathy. This is like a really pretty greenish gold color. It is so freaking gorgeous. Oh, I hope it's coming out good. But anyway, so that's that color. And then the next color that I got is Game Face. This was another bronzy color. So it's almost, it almost looks rose gold, but it's not. It's more of a, I don't even, I can't explain it, but it's like a, a pure or true bronze or copper color. So this is that color. So pretty. Look at that. Mm. I love color pop. Love color pop. Okay, so the, the last thing I got from color, well, no, this is the last. Uh, actually, this isn't even a shadow. This is a cheek. This is the blush. This is called the Super Shock Cheek, and this is the color Candy Man. Candy Man. I thought this was a highlighter, but anyway, that's what it looks like. And then let me swatch it on. I think this is a highlighter. It is a highlighter. But that is the color right there. Super pretty. I just love, I mean, I will always forever buy ColourPop products. And they're like, I think this was like $8. And then the shadows were like $5. And then the, uh, the liner, what is this? The cream gel was like six bucks. Super cute. Oh my gosh, super gorgeous. Uh, me a towel. It's okay. All right, so the next thing that I got from ColourPop are these lippies. So I got four more to add to my collection and the colors that I have are Mess Around. Let me go ahead and swatch that. This is Mess Around. So pretty. Like, that is a bomb color. Okay, and then the next one I got is Magic Wand. And let me go ahead and swatch that for you. All of these are very pigmented. If you have dry lips, I would recommend you putting a little oil or a little, um, lip gloss something kind of tacky not really real slippery so that it helps with the color like sticking to the lips but this is that color magic wand so pretty Look at that. Hmm. i love color pop stuff okay so the next one that i got is tansy 
looks like this. Let me swatch it. And if you can tell, I don't really wear color. I mean, I wear color, but it's not like really bold. All of them are like pinky or brownish. That's just what kind of girl I am. I'm a neutral girl. But this is Tansy. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. And it has, this is like more, I think this has more red in it than, it looks like it's, it has more red or more orange in it than the other two colors. But it's so gorgeous. And then the last color that I got is Chi from the K-pop line. Unfortunately, you can no longer purchase this. Um, ColourPop discontinued it. Not like it was anything wrong with it, but you know, you only have so long for your line to be on their website. And this one is discontinued. I think it discontinued on Halloween. And this is Chi. Is that Chi? Yeah, this is Chi. And it is so gorgeous. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it's the bomb. It is so gorgeous. And let's see, I got one more lip product actually i got another lip product but it's in my purse and i really don't feel like going to get it but this is the nyx matte lipstick and this is the color haze and it's like this pretty gray color did i wear this in one of my videos already i think i mixed this with another color but let me go ahead and swatch that it almost gives like a purplish grayish vibe look at that Ooh, so pretty that is like the prettiest one of the prettiest colors so I, I went out on the limb with this one because like i said i wear neutral and that's clearly not a neutral i mean it well technically it is a neutral but it ain't brown and it ain't pink so yeah that's that color the last two items that i purchased were my sky rise and i didn't go on the, i didn't go splurge and buy like really really expensive uh, mascaras these are drugstore and beauty supply store mix mascaras the first one that i got is a supersizer fibers by covergirl so this, this is it right here. And I've used this a few times. Now what I can say about this is that this does clump. So you need to make sure that you have like an eyelash comb or something to declump your lashes. So that way you'll really be able to see how, I guess how full it makes your lashes. And I actually have this on with my favorite mascara, Better Than Sex. And you, like I said, you'll see that in my other video. My other video. And then this one right here was, I got this one from the Beauty Supply Store beauty supply store and this is called perfect lashes um and this is also let's see this is a volume mascara it says it's for long wearing volumizing and it lifts and separates it's long wearing volumizes and lifts and separates and this one right here actually seems like it's kind of like a fiber mascara to me um i think i actually like this one a little better than the super size one um but this was like 2 dollars i got this from what's the name i think chapel beauty <laughs> And this one works pretty good. Now the one thing that I can say about this is after you wash your face, the the mascara kind of it kind of balls up on your eyelashes. So be careful when you like wash it out because I noticed that some of my lashes came out with it. Um, but yeah, so just be careful with that. But the overall look, it actually makes your lashes look really really good. Um, was that it? I think that's it yeah so these are all the products that I got and like I said I've tried them all and I like every last one of them the only one that I'm still a little iffy about and I'm working I'm trying to see if I 100% like it or how would I grade it is the Anastasia foundation but everything else is the bomb and I think the only thing that you may not be able to get is the Sonia Kashuk um, brushes because like I said they were a limited edition and they were I think it wasn't holiday but they were limited edition and they're pretty much sold out unless you go on like the website Target's website to see if you can find them and then also the Chi um, Colourpop Lippy from the Karuchi line and everything else you can get you can go to sephora you can go to um ulta you can go to target you can go to ColourPop's website you can go to nix's website you can go to the local beauty supply store anyone that has um these two brands nix and whatever this is what is this perfect lash you can go pick those up from that and yeah that's it so i hope that you guys like these products and like i said they work very good and i really would recommend you going out getting them if you have not already purchased them and yeah that's the end of this video hope you enjoyed see you next time peace